is a video on the uh, instrument cluster and uh, if you watch some of my other videos um, I inadvertently um, let me show you what happened I inadvertently while cleaning it or restoring it I erased the numbers and over the years the the uh, the numbers on the face of these have faded a little but in addition to that when I attempted to clean it uh, the solution or just the you know the very uh, the chemical I use I, I think if I would have used the water it would have probably rubbed off anyways but uh, it took the numbers and it took the uh, it took everything off so um, fortunately I was able to find something that was relatively inexpensive and this is why uh, somebody wrecked a motorcycle and basically they wrecked it pretty good and some of the parts such as the instrument cluster were pretty broken as a result of a crash uh, this this can be repaired but uh, I've taken the you know all the light bulbs and the entire uh, you know the entire it's a wire harness basically but I took it all out including all the screws and connectors and I'm I'm cleaning them and refurbishing them so let me show you that this is the uh, backing of it this is the uh, this is the front of it which I'm going to be using now I've cleaned it pretty good so I will give it a final final cleaning and oh <laughs> um, it is damaged. Uh, there is a little damage on here, but uh, you know, for all practical purposes, you can't see this. And you know, the uh, the the the, uh, the 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 unit cannot be used, so I have to take it apart and see what's working and what's damaged. But uh, I was able to find one of these off the wrecked bike and got it for a very good price. When you take the when you take the the uh, light bulb apart or the uh, wiring harness, what you're going to get is this. And uh, basically, I, the, the tape on here says that it lights up when I when I plug it in. Uh, I'm pretty sure that all these light bulbs are in good working condition, but uh, all you have to do is look at the filament and by looking at the filament you will see which ones uh, burnt out or not but what I will do is clean these connectors and I will get it back to an almost new it's gonna be almost new the wiring harness is gonna be almost new and these things the light bulbs what you want to do is if, uh, if you can get your finger on there just push it out and it will just come right out you can lube it up and then push it right in and it'll slide right in real easily but basically the rubber piece on here uh, is waterproof and it keeps the water out uh, these connectors are really corroded so I'll go th give that a good cleaning uh, other than that it seems as though this wiring harness and all the light bulbs are in good working shape if you have one of these and the light bulbs are burnt what you can do is buy something like this or cut the wire and pull it out and put a new one in there if you can find a new one um, I don't know if you can find a new one or put the bulb in here but uh, I haven't tried to pull the bulb out you know pull the bulb out or not but uh, if it comes down to it you know I will just put this one in place of the other one because all the light bulbs are working and if it comes down to it I'll cut it and just rewire the light bulb itself you know cut it split it and solder the wires back together so that's another way of doing the light bulbs easily um, I've seen people break these when they pull them out but uh, if you want you know just spray them down a little but if you push on the other side it comes out pretty easily and then you can grab it and then just pull it out relatively easy so they came out really easy um, to give you an idea all the light bulbs are in here if you can see all the light bulbs in there I stuck the, my finger in there and push the bulb out and you'll see right here it just came right out so this is the 
this is all the warning lights and the turn signal right there. But again, this one, this one has been broken. So. When you take them apart, when you take this apart, you're going to find out that they come in certain, certain elemental factors. For instance, this is the speedometer. And uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. There is the front of it, and here is the back. Now this right here goes into the plastic, and this goes on the outside, so that's how you hold it. Those, screw, those nuts right there actually hold this uh, to the plastic. So I've already cleaned this and lubed it, and I'm going to stick it right onto that unit right there, and uh, it's going to it's going to be the new speedometer there. So the inside's very clean. The gears are very good. I'll go ahead and uh, I've all, I, you have to be very careful with this when you handle it. Do not touch or do not try to attempt to clean anything off here. Uh, what I'm going to get to do is get a Q-tip and get some water and just try to take some of that, that little dirt out. But do not try to touch it or clean it too much you'll you'll do the same thing like me and and just wipe the numbers out so that's that's one of the unit that's the speedometer yeah you can tell i like to eat chicken a lot so whenever i eat by chicken breasts i always save these little these little trays because they're oil resistant and uh you know i just throw them away but, uh, but here's the temperature unit, and they hold on by these bolts here. Uh, those are the connectors, and I'm going to have to retrace the wires once I put this on and then put the harness back on because I have the original one or the other one right there. So I'll do that. Uh, I'll do that when I I'll take a picture of it, and then um, you know when I, as I as I take it apart, I'll mention the num the color coding on the video so that everybody can see it and so that I can put it back together uh, the way the harness is this is the uh, this is the connector inside I'm not sure what it's for but uh, you know like I said this, I have a broken unit so I'm pretty sure this is working and still good and uh, I think it's probably some type of circuitry to tell uh, I you know what's it controls the, the LED lights, though. Okay, there is another unit, and it's sitting over there, and that's the RPM. Um, I won't, uh, I won't go into that. So I'm, I'll go ahead and, uh, I'll go ahead and begin with, uh, with how to disassemble this. You. The one problem that you will have when you get one of these or when you try to restore them are this, these, these turn signal, T-U-R-N, and oil and all that. They're supposed to be white. And uh, as you can see, this one is worn down. It's almost black. So if it's dirty on the inside here, uh, I didn't take it off right last time. And I only wanted to, you know, spray some lubrication on there. Don't spray it with lubrication because it's going to hit this glass. And once you hit this glass, you have to clean everything. And that's how this happened. So don't spray it with lubrication. Do what I did. Take everything apart if you're going to do it. And don't attempt to stick any lubrication into that receptacle and, and spray it on the back. On the back, what 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 holds this plastic to this? Uh, what holds the plastic to this uh, to this cover right here? Are basically these main screws. So once you take the main screws out, which I'm going to do, okay. Now each unit, I'm not going to take this apart because I'm I have to do the wiring here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through. I'm going to describe every single wire here on the video so that you can stick the light bulbs and everything back together. 
frames because I have individual pieces and you have to put it back together. So in order to separate the front bezel uh, to the rear white plastic, you have these Phillips screws on the main part of the frame that have to take that takes off and that will lift this black piece away from the back. For the speedometer unit, as you can see, there are these four screws right there. Now, in order to get it off, you must separate the front bezel from the white plastic because when you take this off, this is going to lift right off. Okay, so this, this unit right here, once you take these two screws, will lift right up. Once you take these two screws, then the plastic will lift up off of the speedometer unit, which is going to be housed in this black unit. So uh, you probably want to do this uh, after you take those screws off. Now for the uh, for the for the uh, RPM meter. You have these two screws here, and these two screws, along with these connectors here, hold the, hold the unit together. So once everything is, once the two pieces are separated, all these screws or these four screws here, actually, uh, these two hold it to this unit. But once you take this off, the unit will drop. So uh, these long screws actually go into the RPM meter, so they're very long screws, but that's how the unit is housed. In order to put it together, you would simply um, line these screws up, put the screws on, and then put these screws on so that the RPM meter is uh, exactly lined up to this. Now, when I got this, somebody had broken it and uh, tried to fix it, so you know, I put some waterproofing stuff on here just to make sure that it's waterproof. And you can see it's hot glue. And I use the hot glue just to make it waterproof and to fortify some of the connectors. Now that will remove the speedometer unit and the RPM, those four screws right there. Um, on the back here, you have a lot of, uh, you have a lot of connectors. And I'm going to go through that because I got to put this thing back together. Um, when the, and I can't see the color, of it. Let, me, let me pause this and then let me get a flashlight real quick, actually, yeah, let me get a flashlight, hang on. 